I don't believe vaccine mask uh, infections because we have many examples that in, in areas uh, FMD3 with vaccination, they, they, they have had uh, outbreaks and they were very well detected. I just remember at this moment an outbreak in Argentina in 2006. It was a small outbreak in 30 animals. It was very well detected. At that time, Argentina was doing a, a pretty good vaccination program. And after finish the control of the outbreak, it was very clear that something happens only in 30 animals. In the surrounding area, none of the animals developed any clinical sign, but also in the surveillance, they didn't develop non-structural protein antibodies, demonstrating that it was just very uh, a small outbreak, very limited outbreak, and the vaccination, it works, and it was easy to find out the, the disease in this case. And there were other cases in South America. I remember in 2012 in Paraguay, also, they were in the FMD3 with vaccination of Reno. They detected the outbreaks. In 2017, 2018, in, in Colombia, they were FMD3 with vaccination. They detect outbreaks, uh, in the, uh, and they were on the, the, in, in a process to control these outbreaks. And now they are FMD3 with vaccination. So we have a lot of examples that FMD3 with vaccination, they can detect outbreaks, and they, but they have the advantage, they can control it very easily because the surrounded animals on these outbreaks are very well protected because sometimes this kind of outbreaks happens because some illegal movement of animals and everything that happened that we know in FMD when something, uh, the virus moves from one place to another place. The quality of vaccine, if we think that we must do, uh, have equivalent status, FMD3 with vaccination and FMD3 without vaccination. And by the way, nowadays, countries have the status of FMD with vaccination. So the vaccine is the main warranty that it's going to generate enough immunogenicity in the herds in order to give insurance that there will be uh, enough immunity in any case, the animal get exposed to some risk situation. Of course, besides the vaccine, you must to have a very well organized vaccination program, the commitment of the farmers, the surveillance, but the quality of the vaccine is the, the key point because if something fails in the quality of the vaccine, the whole thing is spoiled up.